They're so dumb and annoying and ugly and sad and afraid and anxious and no one likes you. Just some of the beliefs that I held about myself for probably as long as I can remember. Even having completed everything like school, getting a job, having friends, having family, being held by those beliefs, like truly without a doubt, relating to them as facts about who I am, like that's just who I am. Those thoughts and beliefs come up, they're just facts. Yep, that's Lindsay. Very limiting. And I knew there had to be another way. Like I knew I could do better. So I began all the self-help books and tips and tricks, mindfulness, which eventually led to a meditation practice, which at first was a total disaster. Um, I would just read the books and skip the invitation to begin meditating until the books weren't enough anymore. And I found myself at Three Jewels taking meditation classes and actually learning how to meditate and that yes, your mind will wander and that's okay. Once I got over that hump, I felt unstoppable. I felt so excited to sit and practice. But those thoughts, beliefs, facts, as mentioned earlier, were just right there. Hello. That's who you are. Why are you doing this? But after a consistent practice for about a year and having the ability and the tools to calm my body and mind, still it just enough to develop and sustain a degree of focus and attention to say, hey, when a thought comes up, you're just so sad. You're just sad all the time. Actually, no. Yesterday, you had so much fun with your family. You took a walk and admired all of the beauty, the trees, the colors, the flowers, the birds, the water. That's not sadness. That's joy. And now, every time one of those thoughts comes up, oh, you're so afraid. Actually, I do things every day that I'm afraid of to challenge that. Because if there's anything that I've learned, it's that you have agency over how you respond to the thoughts that come into your mind, to the beliefs that you hold of yourself. They're not fixed. And the more that you show up in the way that you want, your world will change. You don't necessarily have to change your job or where you live or your partner or your friends. You can change the beliefs that you hold of yourself. Those you can change. And when you change those, it takes practice, but things don't present themselves in the same way because you're not reacting to them in the same way. There's so much more joy and sweetness and expansiveness and freedom that comes from your own mind and you just have to practice tapping into it. And for that, I'm grateful. It's just one rebuttal at a time, day after day after day. And watch, watch everything transform around you and you'll see beauty everywhere. I promise. Thank you.